<laughs> Hello and welcome to the place where we sit on the floor between two chairs and what we are going to be doing today is like what I did for my Halloween decoration haul and I'm just going to take different times that I have decorations and I'm going to show you and then I'm going to put them all together in one video. So today is November 17th, starting early. Now most of this stuff is for crafts. I got, and most of it is the Dollar Tree. Um, by that I mean everything but one thing is from the Dollar Tree. And I got a bunch of other stuff from there, like craft stuff, but it's things I have to transform or this is already Christmas stuff. So we're going to start with my favorite thing and the thing that's not from the Dollar Tree and we're going to start at Meyer. And I got this cool red truck. It's metal, which I like. And it has a little tree in the back and it has these little like Christmas lights hanging from the back and a little wreath on the front. Now, usually I'm not a fan of the whole red truck thing, but this one is a really nice one and I like that it's simple. It's not super cheesy. Like, I don't know, I like it. And if you saw my Halloween, my last Halloween haul, the November 1st shopping haul, then you would have known that I kind of been feeling these little car decorations lately. I got three in that one. Now, this one was $20, which, you know, I was a little, I didn't want to spend $20 on it right now. I wanted to see if it went on sale, but it was the last one. And while they'll probably restock it, there's a bunch of, I mean, Meyer is full of different red truck things. So I don't know if they'll restock this specific one because they have three different other versions of a red truck with a tree in it. That's just this. And then they also have like little, like those, like, Tin, no, not tinsel. Those like garland statues. They have a big light up one. They have everything. It's nuts. All of these like red trucks. And also I saw this one before and I kept thinking about it. I knew I wanted it. So I decided might as well bite the bullet and do it. So yeah, I got this and I love it. It's cool. And you can tell it's going to hold up. Like as long as I want it, it's going to be here kind of thing. Okay, now to the Dollar Tree stuff. We're going to start with the thing that probably most people would spend 25 cents on, but I wanted to get it, so I got it anyway. And uh, I just got these berries. Simple. They're a little thing I can just cut pieces off, add it to different little like decorations, and it'll look more Christmassy. Probably could have got a bigger thing combined with flowers at Walmart for a better price, but whatever. Sometimes you're there, you might as well. Dexter's inspecting everything. And then I got three of these 15 pack, I believe it is. Oh, 12 pack. Uh, three of these 12 packs of the little ornaments. They're just the little like plastic ones. There's silver, silver shiny, and red, red shiny. So yeah, I got those. I don't know if I'm going to hang these, if I'm going to make little DIYs out of them. I have a bunch saved. I'm going to make a video of me following tutorials of different Christmas things I liked and kind of like mashing all the ones that I like that I found from other videos together. Obviously I will link those videos, but, um, so there was a couple that included these. So I figured I would just get some either way. I like them and I like to stick with the red and silver theme for Christmas. I don't really like going into the green. So anyway, next I got this cute little plastic tray. It's a little red candy and I don't know. I just liked it. It's got silver on the back. Or like, you know, just reflectiveness. <laughs> and I thought this would be a cute little tray. I love simple little trays. And also we're going to have a dog Christmas party. So little trays like this never hurt to hold food. So yeah, got that. Figured it would help touch things up. And you've probably seen this around, but there's these little like dollar store fishbowl things you'll see. Where you take these clear fish bowls, like just little ones, and you make a snowman. You make a little scene in the middle. So I got... I don't have them over here, but I got two of the little tiny bowls for that. And I got two of these sets of the miniature statues. Again, could probably find something like this better, but I don't know, maybe not. Who knows? I got a bench and two little street lamps. I got a snowman. I got a person shoveling. And I got a little, like, I think it's a sleigh full of presents or a sled. Can't tell for sure. They're just tiny little things that I figured would be cute inside of that. 
And in that same path, I just got these little like foam beads and I figured this could just play as snow on the inside. I also got these fuzzy red socks because might as well. They make great stocking stuffers or a little present for someone or they will probably end up being some sort of prize for the dog um, Christmas party. Keep wanting to say Halloween party because I've been talking about that one for so long. I'm trying to speed through this because it's a lot of just little random stuff. And then I got nine feet of this ribbon. Ribbon is a really good thing to get at the dollar store. Don't get things like tape. Don't get wrapping paper, and my sister told me don't get batteries from there. Never thought to buy batteries from there, but don't. Uh, apparently they don't last long at all. But ribbon is definitely a good thing. I like getting the big ones, that way you can cut them up to smaller ones if you want, but yeah. Simple, like it. And then next, this is going to get glitter everywhere, but for the DIY that I'm doing, I'm washing the glitter off, but I figured I would show them to you as is. Got these two. These are really pretty as is. Um, if dollar store glitter wasn't such a mess, I might actually keep them as they are. But I mean, it's already all over me just from grabbing that. Like, it's on my pants. It's everywhere. But I got this red reindeer and the sparkly reindeer. And I'm going to try to carefully put them back in the bag. Because my, I mean, seriously. I don't know if you can tell from there, but. Yeah. A lot of decorations from the dollar store are or like from the Dollar Tree are very, very, very cool. And you can get very good like seasonal decorations for very cheap. But glitter already gets everywhere. Dollar store glitter or things from the dollar store with glitter on them is a whole new mess. It does not stay on. It gets unbelievably everywhere. Like, so if you see something like that, that's all glitter, honestly, might not be worth it. Just a heads up because it will get everywhere. So last bag, I'm kind of wishing I would have gotten two of these, but I don't have a specific plan for this, but I got the little like wreath face thing. Um, I kind of wish I would have gotten two, one for Christmas, one for Halloween. I just always have so many ideas for these. And, but yeah, I just got this one. This was the biggest size they had. I know that some have bigger ones, but honestly, I don't want one bigger than this really. I kind of like just the little one. And then the rest of this I'm really excited about. I mean, I'm excited about all of it. But this is more like decorations that I'm not doing anything else with. I got the simple little um, table runner. It is 12 inches long. No, it's not. It's 12 inches wide and it's 72 inches long. I was like, wait a second, that's not right. And it's just a thin little thing. This is something that seems like it would be smart to get from the dollar store. It's just, it's thin, it's nice. Like, I don't know, I like it. But I'm going to set this up on our table, and then same thing that I'm planning for Halloween. I just only have the bowls for Halloween. I want to do little, like, setup, like, almost like you're setting up for dinner, but just all the time. That's their decorations. And so I got two of these. I don't know what they're actually called. Charger plates. That's what they're called. I got two of these gold charger plates. They're really, I mean, they're nice. This is good. It says, for decoration, use only, not safe for food. Do not put in microwave. Do not put in dishwasher. So, yeah, they're, like I said, they're decoration. But they look really nice. So, there's that. And then on top, I'm going to put these little things. Does this have a name? No, it doesn't. But they're just these little, like, silver things. Little plate things. So, they're going to be set up like this. I'm going to have some sort of, like, Christmassy bowl, napkin, you know, mugs maybe, I don't know. It's just going to be a cute little setup. And those will be sitting on top of the table runner. So that is all I have for this portion. And I'm going to show you what I get in the next clip, next time I get stuff. Hello, and we are back here in between the chairs. <laughs> I guess this is my new spot for this video or something. That sun is coming right through my eyes. I don't know if you could tell in the recording, but... Anyway, if I stop it, if I start moving around stupid, that's why. We have Winston here, special guest. So it is November 27th right now, and some of this was supposed to be recorded in the last portion. Some of this is from a couple days ago. One thing I'd like to add before we get into this portion is that I didn't realize that my dog Christmas party was coming up so soon, but it is. It's in like a week. So we went shopping for that, so that is what this video 
is kind of turning into is the dog party like Christmas haul because honestly the Dollar Tree doesn't have many like good decorations this year in my opinion at least not in my style like they're usually really good with Halloween and they're usually pretty good with Christmas but this year just not feeling the stuff they have I don't know what it is but for some reason not really my thing but I've got a lot of cool crafts I'm gonna do so that's all good but anyway we're going to get into this so this stuff it's not actually Dollar Tree. If I don't have enough for other videos and it counts for the dog stuff, I'm just going to put it into this video because honestly, it doesn't matter. This is from um, Pet Supplies Plus, and this is what was supposed to be in that last section, but I just forgot. Now, this is <laughs> Winston's out, but no one else's because this is actually their Christmas presents. So shh, don't tell them. <laughs> but they had some deals going at Pet Supplies Plus. It was like a mix and match, buy one, get one 50% off or something like that. So I figured I might as well take advantage of that. Got this little like catnip set of just little different red and green toys. I figured that'll be cute for the kittens. And yeah, just a simple little, really simple. They're just cheap little things, but that's all the kittens really need. Winston. And then I got this rope toy. It's hard to find things that are seasonal that will hold up good because Ziva likes to chew things right away. So all those cute little plushy toys, she'll just destroy them. She likes to put them in her back teeth, chew little just pieces off, and then just eat them whole. So obviously I try to avoid that for money-wise and health-wise. So I got some little toys that would be cute as decorations as well. Winston, I gave him a bone before this and he's just not interested i also got this toy another little like rope toy with these little like rubber squeaky christmas lights on it and i believe yes they light up when they're hit i don't know if you can see from there in this lighting but they do it's cool and then i got this little elf toy which she'll destroy the elf right away especially these these will be gone in a second like i said she'll chew them off just eat them but i figured if anything we get left with this green tube which looks christmasy so yeah, got those. And I figured I would put those in here because they are Christmas themed. So yeah. All right, now let's get into the Dollar Tree stuff that we got like for the party and just for some decorations. Now we played this game when I was at my youth group at my church. And what you do is you have like, I don't know if you guys have seen it before, but what you do is you take like a tissue box or something and you tie it around your waist and you have to like wiggle around to get like ping pong balls out and you're like jumping around or, you know, anything to try to get them out. And I thought it'd be cool to do that with these. I don't know if they're going to break. We'll see. But I figured I got a 12 pack for a dollar. Don't really care. Picked up these ornaments. They're like the plasticky ones. So that could be fun to try with these. And if it doesn't work with these, I can always just get little like ping pong balls or something to play with. But I figured that would be a fun like tournament style game to bring some, I don't know, just extra little fun to the party. The problem will be, once these fly out, making sure the dogs don't chase them. Haven't thought that part through yet. But for now, this is what we're going with. Now, one thing for the parties is, at all of these parties, I try to do like prizes. Just cheap little dollar store prizes for whether we do drawings, games like this, whatever. But what we're going to do this time is, not to completely give everything away, because I will have a video up on it, is we're going to do a sort of like present, like, what's the word, like a gift exchange, except for it's not an exchange, I'm just bringing them and it'll be a fun little thing, like just get a little dollar store prize, nothing crazy, usually just cheap little things. But I tried with the Christmas stuff this year to not do things that like, because usually our prizes are like, okay, like that's like the reaction to them obviously no one's gonna be upset because they're just getting something for free but it's usually just dumb little things which is still dumb little things but I tried to make it a little better for this one and with Christmas time being out they have lots of random things out which is really cool so that is where I really scored on this and so for some prizes we have some other ones but I just figured I'd show these Winston um, got this Christmas house little dog stand I figured it's on theme with the dog 
party, dog Christmas party, and it doesn't have any like button eyes or anything like that. So if someone doesn't want to use it as a little decoration, then it can be a dog toy. So that's why we went with that. Winston, leave it. Got this little treat me cat bath bomb. Now, I don't know. I was thinking of doing multiple of these, but I don't know as far as this being like a, something that'll be on your skin if it was something to get from the dollar store. So I figured, I would, Winston, you're driving me nuts, little man. He just gives me kisses. He's like, I'm sorry. He just gets really excited. But I figured it's just a cute little thing to throw in. They didn't have a dog one, so I thought a cat would be funny for the dog party. Plus, some people that come to the dog parties don't actually have dogs. So, you know, I kind of like throwing a cat thing in every once in a while. But yeah, so I like to add little cat things in there as well. <laughs> so from the dollar store, I got this little duck toothbrush holder and I named him Frank and I love him so much. He's just so cute. It like, I hate brushing my teeth with a passion. I don't know why I hate it so much, but I hate it. So Frank kind of makes me excited. <laughs> so anything for that, I'll take it. But I decided someone else deserves that happiness. So I got a little dog one. It's just a little, you know, thing. I figured if anything, it can hold pencils. It can hold like a couple makeup brushes if someone doesn't have a lot. I don't know. It can just sit on someone's desk. Can have fake flowers. Don't care what you do with it. I just thought it was cute. And like I said, I was trying to get things that fit the dog theme or fit the Christmas theme that weren't just, you wouldn't open them and be like, oh, it's like, I didn't want to have a bunch of things like this, basically is what I'm saying. So also I got this kickback and color Christmas to music. This says volume one. But yeah, I also got a different looking kickback in color Christmas to music volume one. So I don't, I haven't really looked through them. I don't know if they're the same. I don't know if they're different. They're just, you know, thin little coloring books. But honestly, there's a lot of pages. For this only being a dollar, I was really impressed. That's why I got two. They're these really cute Christmas ones. I think people might actually get excited over this prize. And I don't know what I'm going to get either because of the way we're doing this. Um, which there will be more details on that in the video. But yeah, I, like, these are pretty cool things. And it says that it comes with free music to download. And there's, like, codes in it or whatever. It's just, like, dumb little songs. Well, not dumb little songs, but, like, normal Christmas songs. Oh, apparently there's all four, there's four volume ones. <laughs> Um, the back is showing those but anyway so yeah I thought each of these would be a nice little prize this is on the cheaper side but it's cute like the stocking itself is very cheap but this like the dog and the ears are so unbelievably soft it's one of those things where it doesn't even feel like you're touching a fabric it's that soft so it's really it's really confusing because this part is like just super cheap like typical dollar store kind of stocking but I figured it's cute it's dog theme it's dog Christmas party whatever you know if anything it's just a little decoration and if someone wants they can throw it in the trash it's a dollar <laughs> that's kind of where I'm at with these this though this is cute I kind of wish I would have pulled this other one out first so I'm doing it at the same time because this one's less cute um I just heard a noise I don't know if my, that was my iPad or not but anyway they're just those little like things where the sequins go different ways. I was trying to remember what the word was. This is a gold and silver star for like the top of a tree. And the back has this gray like material. It's really soft. And it's actually pretty stuffed for, you know, just being a little dollar store thing. That's one thing. The Dollar Tree, you know, for having stuff for a dollar, it's usually pretty good quality. So I'm not going to complain. Again, this is really soft on the top. It's like fuzzy soft. This is soft in the back. It's a stocking that goes red to silver and the sequins feel good like you know they're cute little decorations i think people would happy to get those as prizes in my room i have a big like tinsely stop it winston or garland i always get confused on what to call this penguin and he's so cute so i got a little friend and this is going to be one of the prizes too again it's a it's a silly little one but someone can just set it on their shelf 
you know, cute Christmas decoration. This isn't Christmassy. We we're going to get the red one, but the black one honestly just looked better. It's just a little treat jar. That's it. It's different than, because we've had so many dog parties now between Ziva's birthday party, Winston's birthday party, um, Ziva's graduation parties, the Halloween party, and now the Christmas party. We're running out of dog stuff there that can be prizes. <laughs> like, we've kind of gone through everything, and I think everyone is sick of getting a little package of poop bags. So, you know, we're kind of just seeing what else we can get. And now we got a dog treat container. Which doesn't hurt to have a dog treat container. Also got this little, like, thermos? Is that what it's called? Or is that, like, fancier ones called that? I don't know. It's The top is kind of thin plastic, but it's not bad. This is pretty thick. It's a good material, it feels like. But just a simple little thing. It has these Christmas mugs all over it. That says, have a cup of cheer, comfort and joy. There's, like, other different, like, designs on the mugs. Um, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. It's got all these little things. So I thought that would be a nice prize. And now I believe, okay, we're done with the prizes. I just have two more things. Technically four, but it's actually just two and I got multiples. So earlier in this clip, or earlier in the last clip, I showed I got the gold like platter things and then the little silver ones for the top. Well, I, I got that all set up. It's really cute. But I saw these ones. They say, tis the season, they've got like that like red and black like plaid flannel look, whatever you want to call it, and um, I thought this was cute. I like going with the red and silver theme, so this fit perfect. Usually I just do a two person setup on the table, but I decided that I need to do a four person setup when I saw these. So, got the silver to match, kind of draw it in with the gold ones, and yeah, got two of those so that is what I have for this portion I don't know what all other stuff I will have but I'll probably have another clip after this if not then I'll randomly have an outro <laughs> hello and welcome back to the final portion of this video so I just have three more things which you can already kind of see so it kind of spoils it a little bit but if this looks and sounds different than the last clip, it is because I just got a new camera. And this is the first time you will be seeing it. Um, I used to just record on my phone and my iPod. And I'm hoping that once I get used to recording with the camera and figure out how it works, that things will start looking and sounding and just being a lot better. I'd like to grow in editing skills. And I think a camera is a cool way to start getting towards that. Like actually learning how it works. And yes, I'm wearing my coat because I'm freezing, so you know what, that's just how it's going to be. So today is November 30th. Yesterday was Black Friday, and I we went, so we went Black Friday shopping, and we stopped at Hobby Lobby because I needed an ornament for my dog Christmas party. That will not be in here because it's part of an ornament exchange, and I want it to be a surprise. And I don't know when I'm putting this up, but I think it'll be before the party, so you'll just have to wait until the party to see it. So... I got three things from Hobby Lobby because all Christmas stuff was 50% off and you know I cannot resist decoration deals. I can't. It just, it, money, gone. Sorry. It, it's gone. Halloween, Christmas, done. So, um, with that, I got these little, like, sparkly stick twig things. I don't really know. Um, uh, this was kind of a dumb purchase, but not one I regret. It was a dumb thought process. I had $19 left for shopping out of the amount that I started with. And um, so we went to Hobby Lobby and I was like, okay, that's the max I can spend here. Because I went with the, not with the purpose of spending all of that money, but I went with the understanding that I probably would because I was doing Christmas shopping. And hi, Dexter. So I guess I actually should start with these things because I saw this first. And I fell in love with it. <laughs> Texture's playing with the, the little branches. I don't know if it's in the frame or not. I don't think it is. But, um, oh, that's another thing. I only had enough to get the camera. So I don't have, like, a tripod or anything like that. I don't have the case. My mom helped with the tax of the camera. And she helped with getting, like, you know, a card for it. Texture's playing with the decorations. 
So I had no money to, because the camera was a Christmas present from my grandpa. Um, I had no money to get a tripod or anything. So right now the camera is sitting on a Chewy box. <laughs> and yeah, so I'm kind of playing around with it here. But anyway, I saw this. It's like a red cone shaped Christmas tree. It's all sparkly. It's pretty. I like it. And this was $7.99, but then half off. And there was some silver trees that they weren't the same like this but they were kind of a similar feel and they were the cone shaped and they looked really cool but they were like in the 20s and then half off which I didn't have enough for and didn't want to spend on this anyway but I wanted like a smaller tree to go with this for a cute little thing and I saw this white fuzzy one which I'm not in love with how they work together but I like how they work together kind of thing so like eventually if I find something else that works with this this will go somewhere else in the house because I like this on its own too it's just a soft little fuzzy tree. This was $5.99, I believe. Oh no, this was also $7.99, half off. And then I had the ornament, which is $11.99, half off. So I knew I only had like about like the five, six dollar range to then play with. So I was looking around at prices and then I found like I was looking at anything I even kind of liked and looking at the price and then seeing how that worked. And I saw these for $5.99. And I got them mostly because it fit in the price range and I kind of liked them. Hey, Dexter, stop it. He's biting the hair and pulling it. Stop, you jerk. <laughs> anyway, um, so I totally lost my train of thought. Oh, I was going to like take these little, I thought the purpose was you take this little like twine off and then have them like separate as little things. But looking at the way all the glitter's on, it's just like painted on like around this. So I think you're supposed to keep it like this. So I don't really know what I'm going to do. I'm probably still going to take them apart and set. I'm probably still going to take them apart because I don't think it'll be that noticeable. And then kind of lay them around or stick them in things because I thought that would be a better like use for them than just like this. I don't really like them like this and I don't really understand it like this. But anyway, that is what I got to finish out this little like Christmas haul. And obviously all decorations are going towards the pet party or the dog party. And Dexter, stop! All decorations are going towards the dog party. So he's biting me. That's why I included them in this, and just because it's a little bit, I figured it would be a good way to end this video. So thank you so much for watching, Merry Christmas, and look out for that dog party video coming up because the party is a week from now. So, well, it's a week away. It's next Saturday, I believe. So look forward to that video. <laughs> Bye!